Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, and today is an exciting video. I'm gonna be making a slime and I'm gonna be showing you some new things that I bought for my slime and everything like that. I know it wasn't on like, cause my latest video said like new videos coming soon. Um, my two videos that I'm gonna do, this one and another one aren't really gonna be in there just because um, I kinda need to get them done quickly. Um, and so, yeah, so yeah, I <laughs> hope you don't mind that, but then I'll start to get to like the squishy hauls and everything like that. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. Okay guys, um, I wanted to like place it to where you could like see the bowl like from like there, like <laughs> to where I could place it down. I don't really know. Hope you guys know what I mean, but like I couldn't do that. It was just really hard. And so I just decided not to do that and to just film like this. Okay, so I have this bag of all my slime ingredients and stuff. Starting with a bunch of containers. Two. Oh yeah, these are my new two bottles of glue that I just bought. They're right here. So it's pretty cool. Um I have glitter. These aren't new glitters or anything, but glitter. This is kind of what's in my, what what do I use for slime ingredients? Um, I have food coloring, and then I have a bunch of paint in here. And now it's time to show you the new things that I got at the store, besides like the two glues that I just showed you. Okay, let me get them out. I'm super excited to use these. Because, like, I'm so excited. Okay. So, the first thing that I got was um, Galaxy Pigment Powder. And I've always wanted to see kind of what this would make. It would actually be, like, Galaxy. Or, like, what, you know, kind of, like, if this would actually pigment my slime well. This does look like a pretty nice pigmenter. It's glittery and, like, a very good color of pigment. And so, yeah. And the next thing I got were these little cute charms. Um, I was super happy to find these because I've been looking for charms all over and I finally found some charms for me. These charms, I have a donut, ice cream, cupcake, a chocolate cake, and a little lollipop, like swirly lollipop, so. Yep, a bunch of dessert charms. Then I have a bunch of like fun summer kinda, not, ne not necessarily summer, but like fun girly kinda charms. We have a unicorn, rainbow, flamingo, mermaid, and cloud. Hold on, the cloud's hiding behind the unicorn. And the little cloud. <laughs> So yeah, I can't wait to use these charms for today's video. Oh yeah, and then I just have a bunch of paints in here. You guys can see. Yeah, bunch of paints, okay. So let's just start making this slime now. I'm gonna actually be using the Galaxy Pigment for this and seeing how it turns out. And so that's why I didn't add too much. By the way, guys, before we get started with like adding all the pigments and stuff um, in the video, they were very messy um, and I couldn't really get a good shot of them. Uh, so sorry about that, but yeah, just a disclaimer. I've never seen anybody do a white slime. Goes. Now I'm gonna add some activator. And my activator is not working. There we go. Okay. Mix that all together. It's definitely 
definitely working. So I'll see you guys when the slime uh, is almost done. All right, guys. So my slime is um all completed and everything. Just a white-based slime. A little bit sticky, but that's okay. Um, okay, so now it is time to open up one of these galaxy packs, mix it in, and see what color the slime turns. All right, guys, so the first powder that I'll be, or pigment powder that I'll be doing is this gray one right here. So let's just open this. Oh, wow. Okay. This actually looks really pretty. Oh my gosh, guys, let me show you this. You can't see it very well, but let me show you. Hold on. This slime looks so pretty. I don't know if it's catching it on camera or not, but it looks awesome. Okay. Oh my gosh. Let me just... If I just get the slime off the excess... There you go, okay. Nothing wrong with washing. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys, I wish you could like see this. Oh my gosh, this is so satisfying. Okay, ready? Hold on. Hold on, guys. I'll tell you what this looks like after it's like all mixed in and everything. Okay guys, so this is what it mixed in to be. Um, kind of like this grayish kind of color. Let me show you it real quick, hold on. Hold on, let me show you it better. Um, hopefully, hopefully you can see the slime. Oh no, you couldn't even see it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I really hope you can see that. You can see that, but yeah, kind of a grayish color. Um, I don't really see any pigment to this at all. But it was ninety-seven cents, so it was a super good deal for this. I mean, it is like a tiny bit, I guess, shiny. Well, not really shiny at all, though. So I'd probably rate this. I mean, mixing it in, it was a 10 out of 10. I love mixing it in. But, like, actually, the end color, I'd say probably a 5 out of 10, just because it's just kind of this gray color, not really any, like, um, shine or, like, anything like that to it. I mean, just a little bit. Um, but, yeah, i just give this about a 5 out of 10. So, um, yeah. But a 10 out of 10 for when you're mixing it in. That is really satisfying. Okay, next slime. All right, guys, about to add some more glue to this. Let's see. Okay, that's probably good. Probably added a little too much, but that's okay. 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 Mix, 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 mix. Okay, guys, I'm not going to make this, like, that long for me to just, to just watch me mix this in. So, let me just show you when this, when it's all done. Alright, guys, so I finally finished activating this slime after so much activator. I swear, I was, like, getting very frustrated because this just would not activate. But finally, it uh, activated, and it's actually a little bit sticky. So, yeah, I couldn't get it to, like, fully, I guess, it is fully activated, but, like, it's sticky, so... Anyway, the next pigment that I'm going to use is this blue pigment right, oh my gosh, right here. This blue pigment. I'm so excited for this one. Like, I'm literally so excited. 
Okay. Hold on. I gotta like, I gotta show you this pigment. Hold on. Hold on now. Hey guys. With one hand, with one hand. Uh, sorry, this is like very sticky. Hold on. All right, guys. So I don't know. If, like, look at my hands. That is how pigmented this slime became. It is like so blue. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it turns so blue. And I just activated this too. Um, just activated this a little more. It did get a little bit like less sticky, but like. It is still pretty sticky, so. Yeah, anyway, um, I'll put this slime right here for now. And time for our, this got very messy, guys. Like, I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick, and then we'll do our last pigment. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, yeah, that slime got very, 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 very messy. Like, super messy. I'm glad we're only making one more, because, <sighs> Okay, squeeze. That's good. Okay, oh my gosh, guys. I'm excited to see the end of the end process of this. And there's a bunch of pigment on the back of this spoon. Great. Really don't want to pigment this slime blue. Okay, well, they're all gonna mix together anyway. I guess I'll just mix this activator in. Okay. I'm glad this is not making anything blue. I mean, it is tinting it blue, but like, it's not making it blue completely. Okay, I'll see when this is all done. Okay, guys, oh my gosh, my arm and shoulders like are hurting so much just from mixing these slimes together. Um, but, yeah, I'm ready to mix in the last pigment, and as you can see, this is tinted blue a tiny bit, but that's okay. Because we're gonna be tinting it purple now for our last color. Oh my gosh. Ow. I'm hurting. I just, yeah. But anyway, this is our last color. It's this really pretty purple. And I really can't record and like show you what's happening at the same time. So I'll try my best to like, for you to see this good. Ooh, I love the pretty purple, purple color. Okay, this, yeah, this has slime on it. So we're gonna just change that real quick. And just kind of like add it to this blue slime over there. Okay. Guys, this is so satisfying. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's mix it in, guys. Oh my gosh.
this is super, super satisfying. Just doing this. Oh, I forgot to like pause the video real quick, but I'll show you what this looks like when the pigment is all mixed in. All right, guys, this is the finished purple pigmented slime. I love the color of this. Ah, slime is like sticking to my arm and drying out. But yeah, I really love the color of this. I do think the blue was my favorite just because it was so bright and I love the color, like the kind of color of the blue. Um, but the purple is still really pretty and I still really like the purple a lot. Um, but now it's time to mix them all together and make a super cool um, galaxy slime. So let's get started. All right guys, this is what the slime looks like. So let's put it in the container now. Hey guys, so I'm actually editing the video right now um, and realized I forgot to show like me mixing in all the colors together and stuff. So sorry about that. I probably should have done that, but yeah, I'm really sorry about that, but it wasn't really much. It wasn't that cool because it turned to blue right away. So just so I know, but yeah, sorry about that. All right guys, this is what the slime looks like. Um, finished slime. I really like it. It's very good for like going like this and like squishing it because like it kind of hardened with all the like air on it. And that's a good thing because all these slimes were really sticky. So it's like turned out to be the perfect texture. I love it. No, sorry. So let me put it in the container now. There you go guys. Okay. Now it's time to open up all of our charms and see which ones I want to use for this slime. Okay, so one slime that I'm thinking, I want to use like the mermaid, maybe like the mermaid charm for it or something. And if I don't end up using the mermaid charm, then I was thinking of maybe using this cupcake charm. Because it does have blue on it. But um, I will be most likely using the mermaid charm for this. Yeah, I think I'm going to use the mermaid charm for this. So let's open up all of these charms and get them out of here. Super cute little mermaid. I love that so, so much. And now we just have to add it um, on top of the slime. I know you're not always supposed to mix the charm in, but I just decided to play with it. Had to mix the charm in. Okay, I'm gonna find the charm now. Ah, I feel it. Ooh. And the reason I chose the mermaid charm, well obviously the slime is blue, and so I thought it would be perfect for like ocean water. It did turn blue because the blue pigment was the strongest, and so it kind of overpowered the other pigments a little bit, but okay because the blue was my favorite and so I'm really happy that it turned the blue color that I liked okay um I really hope you guys did enjoy this video because I did a lot except it was a little stressful or not stressful but like hard to make the slimes um but that's okay because it was totally worth it for the video um but yep and i have another slime video my next video is going to be slime video and then probably i'll start doing like the videos that i said were coming soon uh, you can go check all those out uh on the latest video or my, not latest for the bit like the video that is my next latest after this one go check that out to see the new videos coming soon after um that slime video that I was talking about that I was gonna do. And so, yeah. Anyway guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And, yep, bye guys. <laughs>